What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is GBA Season 5, Week Number 10, as the Giantes go up against the Detroit Steel Wings and their coach, Chase, aka Crimson Seabed. If you guys do not know this guy, he is amazing. I will leave a link to his channel in the description down below. Definitely check him out. Uh, he is of the same class of joining the GBA as I am. We both joined last season. And uh, he has had some real hacks go against him this season, which has resulted in him having a less than ideal record. But he's really improved a lot since last season. I think I have too. We're leveling out that playing field and I'm ready for this battle. So uh, if you guys are curious to see what I brought, check out the locker room video that went up immediately before this video. I say that with a clause that I haven't actually recorded it yet. I'm going to have to do a post-battle recording and try and be unbiased and, and give no hints about anything. I'm saying this, like, this will be the past tense for you guys, because, but it's future tense for me because I have to record it. But anyway, uh, we're going to hit battle start, and I'm going to bring my battle box, and uh, we're going to see what he's brought. I'm really nervous. Oh, God, he, there's so many things he can bring. It's ridiculous. Uh, but I definitely think Suicune is coming. Um... And it isn't. Cradilly. I was thinking that Cradilly was an option, but I, I wasn't really sure. So he brought the Storm Drain Cradilly. I don't even have that. He brought the Crocodile. I was pretty certain that guy was coming. Uh, we'll see whether or not it's Intimidate, Moxie. He's brought the Staraptor. Uh, that was a really, uh, a really good bring for him. Good thing I brought my counter to that. Uh, probably that's going to be Reckless, but it could be Intimidate. Go for a double Intimidate. He brought Infernape. Infernape. We'll have to see whether that's mixed or special. He brought the Roserade, so he is going very offensive with this team. Very, very offensive. Uh, the Roserade is, might be a setup, actually. Or, not a setup, a, um, a hazard stacker. Uh, looking at his team, the Crocodile and the Cradilly can both set up rocks, and the Roserade can set up uh, Toxic Spikes. If he's going for that kind of style against me... Um... Looking at this, actually, I could just lead with decisions right away. It will threaten out Thorn, his uh, Roserade. It could do a pretty good amount to the Cradilly. Not an amazing amount, and it does have Rockstab, but I can play around that. Um, let's let's do that. Let's lead with decisions. And uh, we can play around if, the, um, if we do see that Crocodile lead. I'm really hoping we don't. I think given that there's a Cradilly, there's a good chance the Cradilly leads. What we know is he doesn't have a Dragon Resist. Uh, he's got a lot of weaknesses to Ice. Unfortunately, I don't have an Ice Spring. He did end up leading with the Cradilly, as expected. And um, Entei versus Cradilly. The Cradilly could have Stone Edge, and it can hit for, you know, 55 to 66. It's a good hit. But uh, I will probably outspeed, and a Sacred Fire will really hurt this guy. And he did not end up bringing um, Suicune. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. Uh, I'm going to click the Sacred Fire. I'm really going to hope for a burn here. I'm really going to hope for a burn. Uh, he is going to stay in. I think he's going to go for, for the Stone Edge. That's a crit. Oh, no. Chase. Chase, no. <laughs> Chase, no. <laughs> Chase, no. I'm so sorry. Chase, he didn't bring the Electros either. Oh, and the Crate Dilly's dead. Oh, Chase. What am I missing that he brought? Uh, Rose, Crate Dilly. Crocodile. What am I missing? I mean, Cradilly was there. What am I missing? Staraptor. Let's see if I can do this real quick. Because this is just not acceptable. I don't have it in here. I'm dumb. <laughs> That's okay. Guys, there's a Staraptor. I don't have it on the side here. <laughs> I don't have it on the side here. Hephaestus comes in. Knowing I'm locked into that. Um, 
So this is a this is a problematic Pokemon. It really is. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure what he will have for me. Sacred Fire will still hit him hard. Close Combat will hit me hard. What could he be? What could he have for me? The Stone Edge, maybe? Stone Edge will hit me really hard. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna stay in, though. I'm gonna click the Sacred Fire. I don't really have a good switch into this. He's gonna go for the U-turn. Um, pretty good move. Kind of scout... Scout what I'm doing a little bit there. Uh, the Cradilly is dead for him. Now he gets to switch into something to take a Sacred Fire. I'm not sure he has something that wants to do it, though. You turn on that uh, Infernape. Uh, if it's the Crocodile, we'll see whether or not it's got Intimidate. The blue one. This thing will take us pretty well, actually. Oh man, that's a two-hit KO. That is a uh, one-two. Wham bam, thank you, man. KO. Now we do not know what this Latios has, but a Draco will murder me if it's Timid Life Orb. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna go for it now. Um, I have the Eggington here as one of the few Pokemon who can actually stand up to the blue one, and I'm gonna switch into it now. I just gotta, I gotta be safe here. Psyshock will do a number. We're gonna see what he's going for. If he's Specs, I will see from the damage right away. He's gonna go for Roost. That was smart. He got me out. He got me out. Um, I'm gonna go for the Wish here. He's gonna withdraw. So now I can kind of do like a pseudo thorn. Okay. Okay, so with Thorn, I feel pretty safe switching into Latias. If he goes for the Toxic Spike here, then uh, that should be safe for me. I'm gonna verify really quick because I didn't run a full calc on Roserade uh, just to see whether or not it gets coverage for my Latias. It gets Dazzling Gleam. It gets Dazzling Gleam. Um, but I don't think it should. Uh, I don't think it should do too much. And I can threaten this bad boy out. So let's go into Latias here. I really do think he's going to set up Toxic Spikes. It goes for regular Spikes. Now I'm going to threaten him out with the Psy Shock. And I really... I know he knows that. I could just pop a Draco. That Cradilly is dead. I gotta click that off. What on his team wants to take a Draco? I really don't think anything. Not even Thorn. A Draco has a really good chance to kill this guy. So I'm gonna click it. Uh, it's just regular spikes, so I can suffer the damage from that. And I don't know that he has anything that wants to take a Draco. What does he have? Instigator. See if it's Intimidate. It's not Intimidate. We drop a Draco on this fool. Oh, it might not kill. Is that lefties? No. Uh, I'm going to click it again anyway. If he's... I'm going to be faster than him because I'm Scarfed, and he might be Scarfed clicking Pursuit right now. So let's see. I'm going to click Draco. I hope he doesn't anticipate that I'm Scarfed. And I hope he stays in. He does stay in. I pop off a Draco. This has a chance to kill. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh. oh, that had me scared. That had me so scared. Okay, Crook's down. Crook is down. We've still got Latios. Who went for Roost, so I'm thinking he's not choiced. He's got the Staraptor. I really want to add the Staraptor. I'm going to do it. I'm going to... Where is the Staraptor? You guys are watching. This is some Rook League maneuvers right now. Staraptor right here on the desktop. Damn it, I already have it? Really? <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? Um, 
He's gonna bring in Hephaestus. We've seen you turn. I really think he's got the grass knot, so. I could go decisions. I could go decisions. What do I need decisions for? It would help against Thorn, but Mega Pinsir can clean that up. I think Quick Attack will one shot it. Decisions can. I can get some priority attack off with an extreme speed, even if he chooses to set up. He could go for another U turn. Let's go decisions. I mean, I can't stay in with a minus four. You know what I mean? <laughs> you guys know what? <laughs> I'm being silly. What's he gonna go for? He's gonna U turn again. Okay. A good play. He'll get some momentum. Probably going to Latios here is my is my prediction. Probably gonna go into Latios. I'm working in the background here, guys. I'm doing this for you. Can I edit the scene while I'm Yes. Excellent. There's Star Raptor in his place of <laughs> his place of glory. <sighs> okay, he's definitely still in this. He still has a very effective offensive core. He brings out the blue one, as predicted. And he can drop a Draco. More likely, he'll go for the... More likely than the Draco is that he goes for Psy Shock, predicting Eggington to come in. What do I need Eggington for? I mean, it is for this. If he is a set that eventually causes Eggington to go down, I can revenge this with Latios. Every time Latios comes in and I click Draco, something will die. Something will die. Uh, Eggington is supposed to be my safe switch here. That is her purpose, and I don't really need her for anything else. So let's do it. Let's go Eggington. I'm predicting the Psy Shock here. He probably predicts my switch into Eggington. You no, know, he has Psy Kick, not Psy Shock. I'm gonna eat this up. Mmm, delicious. He gets a special D drop. I wonder if that matters. Um, I'm gonna click Wish. No, I'm gonna click, uh... Yeah, I'll click Wish. Psychic instead of Psy Shock. I'm not sure why. He's going back into Thorn. I am predicting another layer of spikes here. Even if he predicts me and goes for Dazzling Gleam, though, I think. I think my switch is the red one. I think he gets another layer of spikes up and. I don't think that matters for me. Yeah, let's go the red one. He could maybe double into... Why wouldn't he have gone into post-hardcore right there? The way he's saving it makes me feel like it's a... I think he goes for Dazzling Gleam here. Extra sensory. Ugh, I don't understand that play either. He's making predictions. This is true, but for what I'm not entirely certain. Now I can't click Psy Shock because it's resisted by the Latios and I'm pretty sure it won't take him out. A double Psy Shock won't take him out. I have to click, unless he's gonna start setting up more spikes. Don't worry guys, if you see movement back there, I promise that's not a ghost. I know Nips is going to come into this video. He's going to be like, yo, you got ghosts in the background. That is my girlfriend. It is very late at night. She is sleeping like a beautiful angel. And I'm clicking Draco Meteor. 
He's going to withdraw. Who is he sacking? The blue one? You're sacking the blue one to a Draco? I missed the Draco. Oh, come on. Let's click it again. Man. You know what? I got a crit earlier. Maybe he's scarfed. Maybe he wins a speed tie right now. That would be legitimately bad. That would be truly devastating for me if that happened. I don't think... I, he has Roost. I really don't think he's... I really don't think he's Scarfed. He's gonna withdraw again. Knowing that I'm locked into Draco, he's gonna send out Thorn. And I don't miss this one. And I, I, I'm hard-pressed to see him survive this. But he does. My word, that thing is bulky. We see lefties. Oh man, that thing is bulky. Uh, okay, so at minus two, I really don't think I'm gonna kill. Probably not. What do I do here then? So what's he got that he might go for here? Dazzling Gleam, maybe. I could go Eggington, who can definitely sponge something here, pop off a Wish, and then go into whomever I please after that. That Thorn is a beast. So he was switching into, he knew that the only thing that would take out Thorn was a Psychic move. I really wish I hadn't missed that Draco. Latios would be down. Uh, he's gonna go for another layer of spikes here. I'm actually, instead of Instead of clicking Wish here and losing myself a turn, I think I'm going to double right back into the Latias and I'm going to get rid of these spikes. Because we've seen spikes, he's going to withdraw. I might catch the Latios right here. Hephaestus. Okay. I should be faster. I am faster. This is 108 speed. I'm 110 speed. He's gonna have to go into the Latios here because every, literally everything. The Thorn would have lived a Draco, but will no longer. The Cephestus will not live a Draco. He could go for a U-turn here and he might take me out. Actually, wow, I should have calc this to make sure I actually will kill. The Infernape, come on, he's, he's made of glass. There's no way. He is gonna hard withdraw. Into what? Thorn? The blue one. Okay. Kill the blue one right now. Do not miss another Draco on me. Okay. Good, good, good. The blue one is down. I think. <laughs> oh, thank God. Uh, so now he can come into Thorn again. I think he'll go into post hardcore. I think he'll go into post hardcore. And I have the, uh, I have the answer for that in Rhydon. And he's going to make have to make a hard prediction and go for close combat in order to survive this. But if he does, he's going to have to click it twice. I'm predicting he's Scarf for a late cleanup, and I will switch into Pincer on the second. Will I? Maybe. <laughs> Post Hardcore. There it is. Okay. He's Intimidate, not Reckless. Super, super good to know. Brave Bird will kill me. But this Rhydon, though. This impish high defense Rhydon. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not impish, actually. I think I'm adamant. He could have Final Gambit. It seems unlikely that he has Final Gambit, but he could have it. But close combat shouldn't even two hit KO me. I'm going into Don Quinn. This is literally what it was made for. I'll take some heat from, uh, I'll take some heat from this. Is he gonna go for a U-turn? He is, he's scouting me right out. Didn't do much. I think Infernape comes in here. And I think he clicks Grass Knot.
The Infernape, all we've seen from the Infernape is U-Turn. I think he's gonna calc right now to see if Infernape can, can kill me. A Grass Knot will absolutely kill me. Absolutely. I would like to keep this right on around. I think I can switch into Latias. A U-turn will hurt Latias though. An Adamant Life Orb U-turn will hit me for 75. And then I can just click, uh, I can click. I really don't think he's gonna kill me with a U-turn. I really don't. Uh, and you know what, even if he does, I can come in with Cuddles and pretty much finish off this game. So let's go into, please don't U-turn on me, on my face right now. Oh my God, he is. Let's see how much this does. Almost kills me, brings me down to 35. So that's, I'm, Brings me down to 35 from a starting HP of, I think, 155, so... And he gets the Intimidate off. He might have Quick Attack. <sighs> so he seems pretty willing to keep clicking U-Turn to scout me. These spikes are annoying, but not the end of the world for me. So I don't think I need to click Defog. He can't get up rocks anymore. Psyshock won't kill it, Draco will. So I gotta click Draco, let's do it. Let's see if he's got quick attack. No, he doesn't. So I land the Draco, this... <sighs> Come on, I get a DC. Come on. Okay, challengers, here's the situation. So we talked, Chase and I talked. We ran through hypotheticals and trying to recreate that match would have been a nightmare. A crit on the first turn that super mattered. A missed Draco later on that we could have played around but it would have been complicated. A low roll in the Draco against the post hardcore. But ultimately with the game being where it was we played through the final turns, Theorymon, discussing our moves. He would have U-turned into either Infernape or Thorn, and I would have revenged with Mega Pinsir. My Mega Pinsir is Adamant, an Adamant Quick Attack to his 12 HP, 0 defense, Infernape has a 75% chance to one-hit KO. If he brought in Thorn, it would have one-hit KO. And failing that, if it did all that damage to Infernape, Entei would have come in and clicked E-Speed twice for the win. So we randomed, and he said, given the situation, given the circumstance, 5-0 victory, his words and Chase, you are awesome for being such a good sport about this. And I'm I'm really annoyed at myself. God, I'm actually really really upset because in in this circumstance, this just hurts Chase so much because he normally does post comms, but because Pokemon is so smart, they decide to not let you save battle replays if you get disconnected. So unfortunately, even though he did nothing wrong. He did nothing wrong at all. He got disconnected on. He no longer has material to upload for his side of the video um, unless I record it for him and send it to him, which I'm going to do. He told me not to do it. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to send it to him on Skype and at least give him something to have. Uh, but he's going to put up an explanation video on his channel. And thank you guys for watching. It was a really, it was a really um, high pressure battle. Uh, I think he played the U-turn really well. I think... Um, you know, in really ballsy situations where it would have hurt him, he still made the right prediction and went for a U-turn. He was playing that really well. It resulted in him getting a kill on the Latia Latias, and um, ultimately, what we are what we are calling this is two kills to Latias, one kill to Entei, and three kills to Mega Pinsir. A 5-0 victory. 
to the Giantes. Uh, thank you so much, Chase, for being a good sport about this. Sorry, everyone, that it had to end in a DC like there, right there, so we didn't get to see kind of the last few turns play out. But we agree pretty much the situation that we were in with Latias going down, me getting a free switch into Mega Pinsir would mean um, Quick Attack would finish off that game, and if not, uh, Extreme Speed would. So, depends. I mean, Entei or Mega Pinsir, who gets the kills, but they would have happened. The remaining Pokemon didn't have enough HP to survive all of that, um, all of that priority damage that was going to be coming through. So, uh, good game, Chase. Thank you so much for the battle. Thank you so much for playing along with the bad timing and everything else. I'm blowing up on Skype. <laughs> As always, my name's Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.